Hey guys, Super Silverstone here. Welcome to episode two of Data Pack Design on downloading a data pack. I want to walk you through how to download and how to upload your data pack to the game. This is a continuation of my series Data Pack Design. So to install any data pack, there are several ways. First, you need to make sure that you actually have the file for the data pack. You need to make sure that you have the main file where if you click on it, it'll open the data and the pack.mc meta. You don't want anything further than that. If you have a pre-existing world you want to add your data pack to, first you're going to go into your world and instead of playing your world and clicking on it twice or clicking the arrow or even clicking play selected world, you're going to click this little edit button in the bottom left. This is for pre-existing worlds. Then when you actually click on it, you're going to click open world folder. This will bring up a file just like this. And here is your actual file that you have of your world. And you can see your advancements, your data, your data packs, and all of that. If you open data packs, you'll have your data pack and you can actually access it and edit your data pack, just like that. So that's all there for you. All you have to do, and you can just drag and drop your data pack, you take it, you drag it and you drop it inside and you'll have your main data pack in there. So that's step one. If you wanna do a new world, you're gonna create a new world, just like this. You're going to set it to whatever you would like. You're gonna click on this data packs button. Here we have our available and our selected. All right, so anything on the available side, you can move over to the selected, but you'll see there's nothing there. You can either drag and drop a data pack onto the screen, or you can open the pack folder and upload it. Here, however, it will bring you to a temp folder. This means that you can't always go back to this same file. You have to go through app data, and you have to go through the .minecraft folder. This is just a temporary world. So then what you can do is you can take it, you can drag and drop your episode two in there, you can go back in and you will see that when you actually go back in here, data pack design is available. Now it will be red if you have the wrong version. So try not to have the wrong version. It will be red if you don't do it that way. It'll be red and it'll say wrong version. But if it's the right version, you can go ahead, throw it over, then you click done, it'll validate it, and then you can create a world with your data packs. So that is how you upload data packs actually to Minecraft and you can actually play with them. You can do the same thing for multiplayer worlds if you go through your file access or your server access and then you go to the world folder and then the downloads, or not downloads, yeah. the data pack folder. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next time we're going to actually start troubleshooting our data pack and we're actually going to start adding things to it. So thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my socials and subscribe. I just want to plug here because I forgot in the outro, in the uh, intro. Uh, I have a Discord. Uh, you can join it in the description. One of two, either Block Bash or my regular one. Uh, if you need help with anything, we have some amazing minds in there ready to help. Uh, link in the description.